Hello, I'm Entrilis, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, playing the Kaiserreich mod. We're playing as Union of Britain, and last episode, I did ask what route we'd like to take. Would we want to go with the devolution route? Would we want to go with the evolution route and keep a, vaguely the status quo? Or do we want to go the revolution route? And I'll be honest. The comments were almost perfectly split between all the three options, like, scarily so. I think it was something like 22 mentions, 22 mentions, and 23 mentions, or something like that. And that was a rough, a rough quick guess using the number of times a word was mentioned on the page. Uh, Twitter equally seemed split when I was like, uh, Twitter, can you, can you help me here? Uh, so, I've come up with a cool compromise, and that is, apparently... Most of the people who didn't like Totalist didn't want Totalist because it put Oswald Mosley in charge who's a pretty terrible person. What we can do is you can actually go Totalist and get rid of Mosley, apparently. So we're going to try and do that route. Now, for now, we're going to want to start actually building, like, a crap ton of militias. And we'll just build them in the Great London area. You know, we'll actually only do one, and we'll build, like... Okay, we'll need to do... That's 24... Yeah, just do that. Uh, I'm going for Militia, just Home Guard, on the basis that they are really, really cheap to do, and we can always reform them later and turn them into a different type of unit. But for now, we're just going to want to try and spam these as quickly as possible. Now, you'll notice that we have a lack of infantry equipment. Everything else is not necessary for these guys, so we're going to quickly pop open this and find infantry equipment. Going to, like, max that out. I might actually have a look at our trade, because we might be able to stop some of the trade we're doing. Importing oil. We need that. We need that. Okay. Okay. Things are happening. Restoration of democracy in Australasia. Has been under the authoritarian rule of Governor General William Burwood since the... British invocation of the emergency protocols. Considered by many, the nation have been heavily handed response to the Melbourne Commonwealth Syndicate uprising. Birdwood finally uh, relative calls for an open election. Okay, so basically after the Syndicate uprising, they kind of clamped down and prevented elections being held. And now they're actually going to hold some elections. Hmm, interesting. Gallo seizes control of Ecuador. Alberto Enriquez Gallo has launched a successful putsch in Quito having already dissolved the administration creating new council of military advisors. Quito, 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 Ecuador. Okay, authoritarian democracy. So there's still a democracy. Liberalism couldn't last. I'm just going to deploy people as fast as possible. Maneuvers in the Carpathians. The Treaty of Bucharest in 1918 officially ended the Weltkrieg for Romania. But at what cost? Romania was now dominated by German and Austra uh, Austrian. Not Australian. Industries. Most of our coastline was annexed by Bulgaria, and the Carpathian Mountains separating Romania from Hungary were put under the firm Austro-Hungarian control. The humiliation that Romania endured resulted in it devolving into a national populist dictatorship. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. And they're doing military exercises in the mountains between them and Hungary, which also makes sense. And is not at all worrying. Okay. The Trade Union Council begins. Today, the Trade Union Congress of 1936 has begun. The various factions of the Congress have set their delegations and the leaders to London to argue for the position. We'll see what happens. I mean, mostly arguing. All right, let the Congress begin. Might slow down now because I believe that's going to fire some events or something at some point. We'll deploy those we can deploy right now.
Also, yes, I didn't grab London. There we go. Orders. Right, carry on. Oh, I love this bug. There we go. I think they'd have got rid of that bug. Speed up time a little bit. Zero manpower is certainly a bit of a problem here. You know what, we'll reduce that. The first international congress. Delegates from national socialist and political movements around the world gather in Paris today, voted in a series of world congresses. While the mantle of the Third International was taken up by the Communards after the Russian Civil War, the ideological tenor of the event promises to be very different. With syndicalist parties from the newly dominant forces of the far left, delegates were greeted by a military parade, an exhibition of avant-garde art and finest featured by the chairman of the CSP. At the top of the agenda is the spread of revolution in Asia and North America, ongoing conflict in Spain, policy on colonialism, and the requirements for membership of the Third International Military Alliance. Okay, I mean, sounds reasonable so far. Ready to move. Okay. How are we doing on the construction front? Uh, slowly, slowly. Okay, so the debate has wandered into the area of economics. As has been predicted, every faction has put forward their own suggestions. Most people assume the Maximus will win this debate since Oswald Mosley is a major figure in the British economy these days. The economy must be expanded, centralised and streamlined. The economy must be expanded and centralised. Greater economic authority must be given to the home nations. Um, we will go with the Maximus. The economy must be expanded, centralised and streamlined. Because expanded is good, centralized is, you know, reasonable, and streamlined, I guess, makes it more efficient. So, yeah. We have a hundred submarines? Sorry, I just didn't notice this until now. Wow! The Royal Navy looks very different. And move the fleet from Portsmouth to London. I know that Portsmouth is actually the naval base for the majority of the uh, British Royal Navy. But... London is somewhere I want to defend a bit more. So I'm going to move them over there. Uh, submarines, I'll leave where they are, in fact. Are we actually making submarines right now? We are. I'm going to make the submarines not in London. Because if we could make the subs with the rest of the subs, that would be great. Right, carry on. Tibet has joined the Great Khanate. The balance of power has begun to shift. Straining delicate post Weltkrieg order, Germany long struggled to build. The broken this alliance may have severe consequences. Okay, the Great Khanate. Who's in this Great Khanate? Mongolia. Okay. CMT Phi. Leaders of the CMT Phi have fled Spain, where they're currently facing arrest and imprisonment. They've come to us asking for training and support so that when we return, we'll be prepared to take down the king. Give them what they ask. Political power plus 60. K 
Kingdom of Spain gains supported the CNT Fey. Opinion of them changed by minus 40. Manpower goes down by 20,000, and we lose some rifles. Refuse, but give them refuge. Eh, kick them out. I think we'll give them what they ask. I think... I know we're suffering for manpower, and we're suffering for guns, but we want to spread. We want to spread the, the love and generosity of uh, socialism throughout the world, so we'll give them what they ask. The Third International. France has gone through with its designs to hold the First Congress on the Third International, and we, as expected, have received an invitation. It would be foolish not to send a delegation. Aren't we already at... Okay. Tell the French we can't make it. We're, um... We're already going. We'll say Arthur Horner will attend. Republic of Russia declared war on Soviet Russia. Oh dear, oh dear. Soviet civil war's happening. The death of Pius XI. Christendom mourns the death of his holiness, Pope Pius XI, who died from heart attack. Uh, okay. Vehemently against syndicalism. Well, he's dead now. The Second Russian Civil War. Just 20 years ago, in the last years of the Welt Krieg, the Russian Empire collapsed, ripped apart by nationalist movements, and divided between the Whites and the Reds. After the German intervention, the government defeated the Bolsheviks, but it appears the Russian revolutionary spirit was not extinguished! After ineffective land reforms by the Kerensky government and the austerity measures to pay off the brest litzvot reparations, as well as the crisis in the government after the president's assassination, the cities in the western part of the nation have engulfed with red tide once more. Okay. Hey, Soviet Russia. Okay, well, we can send two divisions, we'll have a couple more. Several beautiful cities of our great unit declare the willingness to host this Batakaid. Which one shall have the honor of hosting the greatest syndicalist sport event? Oh, so it's like a, a socialist Olympics. Okay. Carl nah. Nobody likes Carlisle. Sorry, Carlisle. London. We're gonna go Manchester. Yeah, Manchester can host it. Getting infrastructure around here is always nice. <laughs> Civil War in Russia. Should we help them, even though the Bolshevik methods are rather extreme? Send 2,000 image equipment, old ones go first. No, the Bolshevik methods are too extreme. Help the Russian workers, we'll send manpower as well. Uh, uh. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll send people. Gotta help the socialists. Syndicalism in Spain! Oh god, okay. Um, has taken the stage and elaborate the position of the CNT Fe in Spain for the Congress. The largest syndicalist party, blah, 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 blah. We'll do what we can to help. American journalist, poet, and syndicalist activist spoke to Congress for an hour and 50 minutes about the crisis facing the United States and the chance of revolution in the Western Hemisphere. In the South, the American First Committee is stronger than the central government, and the North is suffering from depression as the West Coast prospers. If the United States was to crumble in the face of revolution, then the exiles would be paralyzed. Remember what happened the last time the Americans had a revolution? Pledge us support for the American worker. We're going to pledge us support for the American worker, most definitely. Internal policy vote. The debate has wandered into the area of internal policy. As been predicted, every faction has put forth their own suggestions. The outcome is unsure since here is a real decision of the future of the Union to be made. Oh, right. So, sorry. The one in France is the all syndicalists go to this big conference. The one we're having is our UK conference. Local governments may be brought in line with the TUC. The current system is satisfactory. Decentralization, perhaps even a local TUC is the home nations. Uh, we're going to bring them in line. Because right now, there is a crisis facing the world, and we need to present a united front. 
right now. After the crisis is over, sure, we can talk about splitting up, but right now, we need everyone in line. Got enough political power to modify someone. Head of military intelligence. Ooh. Oh, there's so many cool names here. I mean, one that definitely sticks out is Ian Fleming. I want all of them. We could also change stuff like our conscription laws or whatever. Limited conscription uh, would allow us to have a lot more people available, which is one of our issues right now. Speaking of which, how's the recruitment going? Attention. And how's our stockpile of, like, machinery? We are really low on infantry recruitment. Oh, God. Yeah, that's going to take 140 days to get there. Oh, oh, dear. Wow. Whoops. Um... Mm, that's mistakes were made. Attention. We could maybe drop you down to home guard units, the actual like infantry divisions, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Right, where were we? We're doing something important. I'm sure we were doing something important. Oh, we might not need this chromium anymore. And a public support. Yeah, we could get Conceive a Good Factory increased, but... Right. Oh, yes, we were doing this. What have we got? Encryption, research time, daily political power, daily political power. Encryption, research time, political power. Encryption and political power. Political power. Decryption. Sortie efficiency. Interesting. Supply consumption. Ooh, tempting. I mean, political power is always nice. What are we currently gaining at the moment? 0.58. I think we make Ian Fleming. Yeah. Maybe we can write some novels at the same time. Oh, do we have chromium needs? Oh, we do. Okay, sorry about that. Should have cancelled the chromium. Uh, Russian Republic. No, 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 no. We do not trade with the Russian Republic. We will trade with the Soviets. Women's role in the worldwide revolution. Yesterday, Helen Crawford took the stage with her flaming speech about the woman's role in the world revolution. According to arguments about women's participation in industry and the armed forces, it may be impossible to defeat the political enemies of the proletariat. Time that may seem, the political climate in Britain is not ready for such decisions. We need to wait for the Congress of Trade Unions in the fall to force the matter. So be it then. Gain stability. Okay. I mean, women are literally half the the people, and we're all for the people controlling all the things. So, white terror. We've heard Badara speak of the white terror horror stories that have been coming out of Madrid and Barcelona. Uh, wanted to delve deeper into the topic of the white terror, and it was given the floor after hearing more stories that have come out of Germany, Austria, Hungary, Russia, and Finland. The Congress members are ready to make their decision. Another reason we've ended the capitalist system of murder and robbery. Yes! We must end the capitalist oppression. It is the only way for the people to be truly free. The Bariati Commune are supporting the struggle against the neighbors, Delhi and the Princely Federation. They would like us to send the military advisors to train their troops and yeah. Political power 50. Sure. We've got to be a leading role for communism in the world. Ah, 
Hey, do you want to, like, talk to me? Could I send a... Still going to send two volunteers. I actually want to send a... What's it called? A military... Send a Tashi. There we go. And we need 100 political power for that. Ah, I should have gone for that. Okay, meanwhile... Military policy vote. The debate has wandered in the air of military affairs. As been predicted, every faction has put forth their own suggestions. The debate is heated since the last few days have only too clearly shown the deep rift within the TUC. Hmm. The eye must be the military must be, the military must be expanded, and the local militia is placed under TUC control. The eye must be expanded, but only in self-defense or a Scottish, English, and Welsh national army. Um, I'm pretty tempted by the last one, actually. Yeah, we'll go with, we'll go with actually having like a proper Scottish, English, and Welsh national army. I don't want to centralize the power of the army a bit too much. The Papal Conclave. Catholic faithful in Rome, brewed to sigh of relief as assisting chapel chimney builds white smoke. Pius the Twelfth. Okay. How are you doing over here? Kind of vaguely holding. Okay, when we get like a couple more, I think we'll send some volunteers. The Marklik declared war on Mongolia. Oh, hi there. Paternal autocrats, paternal... I mean, they're both paternal autocrats. I guess they have their reasons. Doesn't seem to be at the face of it ideological. Probably historical. We've got a free dockyard. Ooh, what did we just finish? What did we finish? Ah, uh, submarines. Okay. Uh, I'll try accelerating the building of these. And I think we'll also leave them two spares so they also can gather those as well. Right, carry on. Oh, hey, we've got another fleet up here. I'm going to move you to London as well. Sorry. There we go. Right, can we actually get a list up of our naval assets? The Welsh fleet. Where is this Welsh fleet? Aha! I couldn't see you underneath this. That's a pretty nice fleet, actually. Yeah! We've got a got a decent fleet going on. I mean, I know we're Britain, etc., but in this timeline, things could have gone differently. It seems control of Argentina. Oh dear. Hi there. No faction. Oh. National pop. Oh, national populace. Uh, when Carlos executed a coup against the Argentinian state, the nation was torn apart in a vicious struggle for control of the presence of the blah 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 blah. With the fall of Rosario, a vital railway hub to the inner regions, Carlos has proclaimed his coup a success and has assumed the presidency of the uh, after this afternoon after rousing speech to his followers in Buenos Aires. Okay. So they're national populace. I thought they were already. Resignation of Philip Snowden. On the last day of the TUC, Congress Chairman Philip Snowden climbed up the podium and made a speech. He claimed that in the face of massive risks within the TUC and due to his age, he intends to resign his post. He's pulled out the cliche time with the family bit that all politicians do. The congregation stood silent as he climbed down from the podium and made his way to the hall. The country is shocked, and in a few days' time, the TUC will have to vote on a new chairman. Shocking to say the least. Oh, we lose political power. Damn it! We're negative now. Bye. Put 
put you in charge of that. And put you in charge of the submarine since you've got wolf pack tactics. I just really want to get like another couple of units out. That manpower is killing us though. The 19th Congress of the Trade Unions has been completed. Also, research superior firepower and basic machine tools. The TUC has decided to vote for Oswald Mosley's Maximus with an overwhelming majority. Oswald Mosley will become the new chairman of the TUC. Congratulations, Comrade Mosley. It's a nice tie, at least. Okay. So with that said, we now have a new leader. We have a new technology that we can grab. Uh, we'll probably just go for delay. Start sprinting down there. And... It's ahead of time. Concentrate industry. Dispersed. Dispersed is actually surprisingly good. But I think, I think it's more like... It's more in the role-playing to go of Concentrate, since we did make a Concentrated Industry decision as part of the TUC. Hmm. And we get a 50% bonus for Concentrated Industry. Yeah, that makes sense. There we go. Because we voted for it. Uh, instead, I think we will go vote for officers and then go down here because we'll get a load of bonuses for our uh, units. We also might want to go political commissars. We do lose a bit of political power there, though, and we've already started to lose political power, so... Ugh. I think we'll grab centralized industry just for now because we are working on that. Really just want to get like a couple more units. We need the manpower though. Oh, insufficient resources. having issues of just not getting enough from the Soviets. I guess they started using theirs. Instead, uh, we will import from... I mean, Cuba are right nearby. Sure. Thank you, Cuba. The fall of Moscow. Today, Russian forces broke through the siege lines to the capital in multiple places and converged on the Kremlin. It is the second time in a few decades that Moscow falls in the hands of the fellow Russians. So I'm starting to ask if the madness really is worth it. Oh dear. Soviet Russians are not doing too well. You know what? I think we will send two units. So we're going to go for our first and second divisions. We'll want to give them... Um, someone who's really good at defense, maybe. David Sterling. Oh! He's the guy who created the SAS, right? Was that David Sterling? I think it was. He's only got a two defense. We need someone with a good defense. Yeah, like five up here. We can get you a new trait. Scavenger. Fortress Buster. I'm going to go Scavenger on you. Because you're going to be defending for now. And then we're going to go... Hi. Hi. Would you like... Oh, I can send three divisions. Great. Ready, sir. Hi. Would you like three divisions? My troops are on the way to join the struggles.
coup d'etat in Siam. News emerges from Bangkok today that a group of officers and intelligence call themselves the Kana Rasadon, or People's Party. Oh. A statement was issued with a new Prime Minister announcing that this was not a military coup, but rather a peaceful transfer of power while a constitution is put in place. Okay. Interesting. Oh, what's this purple thing? Madras? Huh, hi there. Right. Oh yeah, the Russians are really losing. I mean, the Russians are losing against the Russians. Rebuilding the Crystal Palace. Built as a display hall for the Great Exhibition of 1844, the Crystal Palace was a cast iron and plate glass marvel of the Old British Empire. During the Welt Creek, it was transformed into the Royal Navy Training Station, HMS Victory VI. As a result, it became one of the last howlets of royalists in London and was destroyed by a fire during the Revolution. The gutted skeleton of the building has been left to rot over the last 10 years as London worked on its industry and defence. The process will be put forward to rebuild it as an exhibition hall, where men and women in the international display their industrial and cultural products as equals, not as imperial trophies. However, it would be an expensive undertaking to get it ready in time, and a large part of the Congress Advocates simply tear down the ruins. Okay. The Worker's Palace. You know what? We're going to build the Worker's Palace. I know it's costing us loads of political power, but sure. We have none anyway at this rate, so might as well go all in. When are my troops going to get there? There we go. They're here. Hi. Come on. Um. Oh, God. Yeah. It is not going well. We'll do our best. All in. Move out. We're going to try and link back up with this unit. Oh, they did it. They did it. Okay. Um, right. Cancel my orders. If my three units were there earlier, it might have made a difference, but I doubt it. All in. Move out. I'll take the fight back to that unit, actually. Right. Uh, I'm going to make you a priority. United States of America, you're the next bet. I think Russia, I think Russia's going to fall. I don't think we're going to get the Soviet Russia we wanted. It's just the fact that they're massively outnumbered. But that's not a priority right now. A priority is sorting out our own country. We've got a bit of work to do there. We're getting there, though. For now, I think we'll end the episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have, like, you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. What are you? Authoritarian Democrat. Okay. Also, comment down below. Let me know what you think of it's going so far. Let me know how you're liking Kaiserreich. Let me know how you're liking all the massive amounts of pop-ups that I'm trying to read out. My throat is going to kill me. It's starting to hurt already. Uh, but uh, the alternate timeline is kind of cool. Especially the way it plays out differently with all the different pop-ups and choosing different options. I'm interested to see what we'll do and whether we will actually manage to get rid of Mosley. I'm hoping we do. But we'll find out. Until next time, I've been Aerolysium. Stay shiny.